What's up, Dream Team? I'm back again with another video. It's your girl, Dream. If you're new, make sure to stop what you're doing right now and subscribe. If you're back, then welcome back. I love you so much for coming back. Today's video, I am gonna be teaching you how to do this quick, simple IG baddie makeup look, plus, you know, your hair and whatnot. But all right, if that's something you guys will be interested in watching, we about to get right into this thing without any hesitation, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Enjoy the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay so before we start this video i do want to give a big shout out to nicole um make sure you check the description box below for her youtube channel she's really pretty she's one of my supporters and yeah i just wanted to give her a big shout out so make sure you check her stuff and i'm gonna just write her instagram right here okay so i went ahead and started with my eyebrows off camera because y'all already see me how to do my eyebrows and it takes me a very long time sometimes but okay you guys know that before each video i have this new feature that i speak about whatever hair that i have or whatever hair that i'm gonna sell or promote i'm gonna talk about it for the first three minutes of the video so let's get right into okay. it so as you guys see i got some new color who's feeling this so this hair is from asteria or asteria I don't know make sure you look down in the description box below because i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but this is a 24 26 26 with a 20 inch frontal i did make it into wig obviously as i always do um this hair is literally like just plain bone straight like i just got it bone straight it was already on braid too also i just wanted to try something new because you know the black it's like okay i always have black hair my real hair is like dark like that so let me just try something new before going a little bit lighter so i do want to go a little bit lighter so we'll see but back to the hair i really do enjoy this hair i honestly just put it in my head today i made the wig yesterday meaning last night and let me tell y'all I had to freaking remake this wig a second time. Like, as soon as I made it, I tore it right apart because the wig was too damn small. Like, but whatever, I remade it on the same night. So today, this morning when I woke up, I just put it on my head. I did my little baby hairs, I don't know. So since I haven't had this hair in my head for that long, I mean, I don't really have much to say, but I like it so far. I haven't seen like a lot of shedding except when I was plugging the hair once again. And I did make this wig with the hot glue method like always because I'm a lazy bitch. I sewed the frontal down to the cap and then I glued the rest of the tracks on because yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this hair. Make sure y'all check the description box below in order to know their website, in order to figure out all the information you need to know about this hair. I'm not sure if I'll be selling this one. I kinda, I really do like it. This is how long is it? Like, it's pretty long, y'all. I gotta hang time. <laughs> okay, let's get right into this Instagram baddie video thing. So, today we're gonna be doing, if you couldn't tell by the title, which I'm sure you did, um, we're gonna be doing a baddie makeup tutorial look. We're gonna be doing the IG Instagram. We're gonna be doing the Instagram baddie type look. You know what I'm saying? It's real simple, but it's cute. <laughs> so we're gonna start off by putting this little concealer thing on our eyes. I always prime my eyes with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. That's my favorite one. I love it. I think it does me justice and it's perfect. And we're gonna add a couple of because we gotta hide this ugly mm. uh, I started like picking at my face again and like I literally just, it was already clearing up and like I literally messed it up again. I don't even know if you can tell on the camera, but I can tell, I see it right now. So I'm talking about it. I don't even know what else to do. I think, I think y'all need to drop me in the comments below something so I can have a little help or something. These are little, marks i guess what helps with the marks what helps with the little small dots i've been using this little african black soap so i mean it was working but now i ran out so i don't know if i should buy the same thing again or if i should just try something new so anywho 
Okay, so I'm going to start off with a orangey. I know I always start with an orangey color, but that's really my transition color most of the time. It's going to just be a lighter orange this time. So, literally like that one. And excuse my palette. I know. Excuse my palette. Y'all, are y'all ready to look like a bat? Are y'all ready? Okay. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is basically just put it up here in the crease part of the eye. We're not gonna fully go ahead and fill in this little piece right here because that would just kill the whole purpose of the look. So this is what I'm doing right now. Just honestly getting that same orangey shade. Okay, so when that's done, that's all we're gonna do as an eyeshadow because, okay, it's not super glam. You don't have to be super glam to be an IG baddie. Like, you don't really have to focus too much on your eyes. Um, the only thing, damn. Honestly, if you just do a little bit of liner, like, at the top of your eyes, you're completely fine. Just with that, but, you know. I feel like adding a little bit of eyeshadow makes everything perfect or even more like it makes everything come together if you know what i'm saying now i like these type of eyeliners the ones that have like the little tapered the little pointy end i may say i haven't did eyeliner in so long actually so oh my god this is about to be a challenge next i'm just gonna put on these eyelashes um, i'm gonna link them somewhere right and y'all, I absolutely love these lashes, like, uh, can you even see? Like the separated lashes, these are my thing. Like, these are the type of lashes Dream gets and will always get. Y'all, I've been struggling with my hair this whole time. Like, I think I'm gonna just put these clips in. Looking out for me. These clips do not hold worth the nothing. Like, I'm telling y'all, these things suck. I need to invest in some better ones or yeah. I remember when I couldn't put my eyelashes on camera like ever. Now it's kind of like a breeze. So. Trust me, y'all. The more y'all do it, the more y'all get it. Cause I always get asked like, you know, how you put your eyelashes on? Yada yada yada. Truth is, I used to suck. I did. But you know, you keep practicing and you keep putting them on you just get better and better at it every day just like with anything else in your life consistency is always key yo Ta -da. my boyfriend's gonna kill me because you know this is his shirt didn't mean it because i keep all my damn makeup on my freaking Hands. Hands. Yo. He's literally gonna fucking kill me. Yeah, do y'all like Jimmy John's? How do y'all feel about Jimmy John's? I think I like it better than, I know I like it better than Subway. Yes, I said it. Are you with me? <laughs> with Subway more or with Jimmy John's? The reason why I like Jimmy John's is because... I don't know they just taste super good like i get the number four which is lettuce turkey is it turkey or is it ham it's just lettuce turkey or ham uh tomatoes mayo you can add provolone cheese to it if you like yeah and then i always get my little packs of mayo because i hate when let me do my makeup i'm just talking like mayo or something like i like mayo but too much mayo will make me like not like mayo if that makes sense like i'll literally throw up or like when you go to mcdonald's for a freaking hot and spicy and they drench that bitch in mayo like what are you doing so i usually just tell them like no mayo and just um add my packs of mayo in a bag or whatever so yeah, that's what I like to do. I have some time to go over my last video's comments with my boyfriend, um, with Brandon. And I saw that some of you, not a lot of you, but like some of you, 
y'all were like not feeling his attitude or not feeling like how he was acting and whatnot but like y'all gotta understand <laughs> Brennan is like super new to like this YouTube stuff and like this camera stuff and it's just YouTube period you know what I'm saying like you can't be too harsh on him if you honestly scroll all the way down to my give me a sec I gotta go with this but anyway yeah if you scroll down to my very first YouTube video like y'all gonna be like damn like she was not loose at all she was not open she was not comfortable with the camera at all and there's something you just gotta understand man yeah i definitely wouldn't be with somebody that has an attitude 24 7 and somebody that acts like that on my youtube like i wouldn't I... but yeah he basically has got to get more used to the camera and stuff because he hasn't been in a lot of my videos yet if y'all think about it okay so next i'm gonna be putting my concealer Oh shit, we're gonna have to go back to that because I kind of just messed up <laughs> my eyeliner you Gotta be more careful like you know how I told you guys previously to always cut your um, Eyeshadow with your concealer. Yeah, well, it's the same thing with the with the eyeliner. You just gotta be a little bit more careful just because It's eyeliner and it will smear everything yeah, I don't know if I should name this makeup baddie tutorial or is this more of a casual or is this more just like a makeup tutorial? I think I'm gonna name this simple baddie IG makeup and then I'm gonna make a glam IG baddie makeup video on the side. Not on the side, but like later on. Yeah, because it's not really glam but it's real simple with it like you'll be able to take pictures regardless and you'll look bad either way it's a simple ig baddie makeup look i feel like y'all like my glam one more though more than the simple stuff but yeah i'm basically just blending in my concealer still next we're gonna bake with our banana powder Let's show this thing girl chow honey like <laughs> so there we go there we have it makeup dirty anyway really just put it on something like whatever it is so yeah before my way of removing this powder off of my face is by literally patting it into my skin that way we make sure it's actually setting setting and then you actually dust it off it's a real nice quick simple makeup look that you can always do just to go nowhere like me today I'm really getting ready for nothing <laughs> i'm not going anywhere but i just figured you know Ooh, we could add some glitter we're not gonna look at that right now what not y'all good at british accents i know my blood sister is like she really sounds she really sounds like she's from freaking one of those foreign places I'm obsessed with the British accents and stuff. But I can't All right, now we always wanna make sure that we bake right underneath our contour because we wanna make sure that we cut the life out of that contour. Like we wanna be snatched, you understand? So we're gonna go back to the baking that we had baking in the pan. And this is just how you do it. You just draw a line. And you see it's already, we're gonna dust that off obviously, but I'm saying like it's already looking pretty snatched. Oh, child. So that's that. Now we let it sit there a little bit more. And while we let it sit there, I'm gonna go ahead and put some highlight on. Now I'm not sure if I wanna do the pink highlight or the Fenty Beauty highlight, the trophy white one. I feel like I always use the Fenty Beauty, so I just answer my own question again. Updates, updates, updates. Okay, so I recently just bought my backdrop and whatnot. And I ordered it off for Amazon and everything. Like, I paid express shipping, meaning like a two-day shipping. I was supposed to get it yesterday. And actually, that's what they told me when I first bought it. So before they even shipped it out, they was like, okay, your expected delivery is going to be on Tuesday. 
and for some reason i happened to look on my little status of the package on monday just to make sure like okay the next day i was gonna get it and it tells me that my package was already delivered on that monday oh my god when i tell you i had to throw down with paypal on the phone like how i've heard express ship they first thought they weren't even trying to pay me my express shipping money back like i was like no like i'm not happy you're gonna give me my money back yes or yes because listen i said it a thousand times and i'm gonna say it again i'm so tight when it comes to my money like i hold on to that i don't care if it's five dollars five dollars gonna add up to something i feel like a lot of people they're always like, oh, well, this is a, this is only $1. It's only $2. I mean, $5, come on, I could. Okay, but if you spend 10 on 10 on 10 on 10 on 10, like the whole week, like really, like you just spent a whole bunch of money because you're talking about, it's just, it's just, it's just. No, even if it's $2 and you know you're supposed to save those two extra dollars, put those $2 in your savings. Like, you need that thing that bad, wait till you get paid again and then you buy it. Now I'm just extra tight with my money, you know what I'm saying? And plus, you need to start thinking about retirement. I know I'm 22, but, you know, you got to think about things like that. Necessities. You have to literally plan everything out. Because I always get off track. Sorry. That's just me. So back to the Amazon thing. Yes, they refunded me my money. They refunded me my shipping express. And now I'm just waiting on my money to hit my account again. And I just haven't bought the same backdrop because now I don't know if I want that one or if I want a different one. This one was so cute though. So I may just have to buy it again. And next we're gonna just go ahead and do our hair. I was gonna curl it, but then I was like, no, like I got this bone straight. So I'm just gonna straighten it a little bit more and try to style it in a way that I'll look like a super baddie. All I customized was this. My baby hairs and my um you know my little side part and whatnot it's kind of lifting a little bit from right here i don't know if you can tell but i'm gonna fix it i went ahead and plucked all along the hairline myself i'm getting better at this plucking stuff so let me go get my flat iron and get my stuff together and i'll be, and I'll be right back wait guys before I, I start doing my hair i think i want to do a little bit of white underneath Cause you can honestly stop right here with the eyes but i'm thinking like i want to spice it up even a little bit more should i do a little white eyeliner or dream brb so i just plugged in my flat arm but in the meantime i'm just gonna talk about how grateful i am to have you guys i really am like I actually the other day i was having a real bad day and i was just reading through my youtube comments and i actually did feel better because you guys have such sweet things to tell me and like such kind words to always like encourage me to keep going and all are an actual team i just don't want you guys to go unnoticed i don't want you guys to feel like y'all are going unnoticed like i really do appreciate y'all it's just so nice man like having people that actually support you and having people that actually wanna you know engage with your content dude i just thank y'all man because without y'all none of this is possible and y'all let me tell y'all something when i got this hair you know when you get get hair it like smells like some type of way or something this hair did not smell bad so that was a plus a major plus because some hair companies like you could barely stand that shit or i can barely stand that but I just recently sold, I think, my third wig now. Yep. I sold my third wig on my Poshmark. I said it right this time, so don't drag me. Stop dragging me for saying Poshmark. Yeah, so I went ahead and sold my third wig. It was a 22-inch curly wig. It was a real nice wig, but, you know, I don't like the 22-inch hair. Keep on selling more wigs because, for what? I keep getting so many wigs in the mail and so many bundles of hair which i am gonna start selling bundles as well and you i'm not gonna use them all like it's too many so you gotta be quick i do get a lot of dms on my instagram asking me about the wig situation you gotta create a force mark 
and I'm gonna link my Porsche mark down below in the description box in every single description uh, in every single description box I'm gonna be posting my Porsche mark I already said that right I always gotta mess up something. Damn, I can't even be cute for two seconds. Myself so serious, but this is the finishing look. I hope you guys have enjoyed the life out of this look. Um, I think I'm just gonna call this simple Instagram baddie look. That's what it was. It was a real quick thing. You could definitely take pictures in this and look freaking bomb. Like all you need is honestly a darker color lipstick, a nude lipstick. And a little orange shade on your eyes and a little liner at the top. And girl, you got it. But all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Make sure to share also because why not? I always get stuck like right there. Yeah, I love my team and I'm going to see you guys next time.